the Seattle Public School District sent a letter to their staff asking teachers to understand that Thanksgiving is a time of mourning for many Native American people, and because of that, they should observe the holiday appropriately. The tribes reached out and helped out people that needed help. And, uh, what happened afterwards uh, you know, has been uh, some bitter memories for tribes, but those early days when the tr tribes and the settlers were able to work with each other was great. The school district stands by its decision to observe the holiday with caution. What we're trying to do is to embrace all the different perspectives. I mean, that's the, the intent is to embrace those different cultural perspectives and to celebrate those and also to acknowledge those and be sensitive to those. So is this political correctness gone too far? Joining us now from the United Indians of All Tribes Foundation, Phil Lane, Jr. Thank you, Phil, for being with us. Thank you. Now, why would anyone want to politicize and ruin this wonderful traditional American holiday? It seems to be going on here. Well, you know, Mitak uh, Yepi, my relative, I don't believe from what I understand of the people who have shared their heart and feelings about this, there was any intention of taking away this beautiful spirit of thanksgiving to our Creator for all the wonderful things we have to share together. I think it was a reflection that as human beings we've all been through intergenerational trauma, every one of us. And for some people, what might be a great time of celebration, and we hope all human beings come to that place, they have some feelings about living in uh, two-room shacks on Pine Ridge or Navajo country and uh, without food to eat, with their elders in, in dire conditions, in diabetes. So we have to understand, I think, that we all as human beings, especially during this time of Thanksgiving, need to not only share physically, but share our emotional and spiritual love and compassion yeah, well, for those less well, unfortunate. Well, Phil, look, we all obviously have sympathy for people that are in the kind of plight you know, you talk about, but I, I, clearly, if you read the memo from the school district, it is putting a damper on this holiday, and I think uh, really misses the spirit of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not a triumphalist holiday. It's not, you know, Americans celebrating the conquest of the continent. It's about gratitude for God, for the plenty we have here in America, and the whole story of Thanksgiving is about cross-cultural outreach. Mm -hmm. Why would anyone have any problem with that? Why, uh, with celebrating that? Well, I guess that I, I'm sure that there was not an intention to, uh, from what I know of Will Bill Jr. and his father, they're great loving people. There was not an intention. If this happened, you know, I'm sure, you know, I certainly, for one, as a Native American, would say that it's about really, let's open up our hearts, let's open up our souls to understand that other people that are living in tremendous poverty. When they look back to this date when we're of Thanksgiving and love and, and helping those less unfortunate and sharing food together, and look what's happened. For some people, that hasn't been a very pleasant experience in the last 500 years. Yeah, but if you and look so at, we if you, understand that. Phil, if you look at the memo, it's basically instructing teachers or giving them guidance to make kids feel guilty on Thanksgiving. And that is not what this holiday should be about. No, I, if, if this makes people feel guilty, we have enough guilt in this world. I think that but my understanding of it and reading it, this is just my understanding. You know, we're just human beings, you know, and we have our different ways of looking at things. And thank God we're in a country where we can have different perspectives. That's, that's, that's what something comes to the Iroquois Confederacy. Hey, but Phil. I was saying that, 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 that this is about, I think, just helping us to be sensitive to others and others' cultural perspectives. Now, I pray that maybe let's begin, like we're having our first Thanksgiving tonight, and let's make sure that we continue from here on out caring and loving hey, Phil, and being um, compassionate to one another. It's Alan Combs. Thank you for doing our show. Uh, sure. you know, the school system used the phrase 500 years of betrayal. Do you as a Native American feel betrayed by the United States and what it became? Well, certainly, if I look at the history of my family, we fought in the Little Bighorn. My relatives fought in the Little Bighorn. You know, we know what happened at Sand Creek. Yes, there was tremendous things that happened. But I thank God, you know, we're coming, we are rising. Native people, Native Americans are rising from this pain and hurt. Right. We have a spiritual core and foundation. Sure. We know the Creator would not give us any test or we difficulty have a moment left. I if just there want, was not a purpose. I, I think the main point here is that there should be an awareness, as you've said, that there exactly. are wounds yet to be healed. Yes, there are we hurts, all have as you've them. expressed, that are yes. not being addressed or acknowledged. Exactly. And if we can be aware of that, in spite of our differences, perhaps, then we can exactly. move forward as a united country. Isn't that exactly. really the issue here? Exactly. I believe you hit it right on. 
We have to learn to love and respect and honor one another in our diversity. And yet we're only one family, the human family. That's who we are. And we should owe a debt of gratitude to the Native American who is, you're in this country, your ancestors, uh, prior to a lot of other people coming over here. So we thank you, sir, very much one, for... One, uh, one last thing. Our veterans, by the way, are the, our people serve more as veterans in right. this nation than any other group of people in right, this country. We thank you for your time we tonight. We love this country, Happy too. Thanksgiving to you. And if, God bless the way, you. Thanks for being Warm with us. Handshake. One interesting uh, dinner... Uh, well, we're going to talk about coming up, coming up some interesting dinner conversation for tomorrow's Thanksgiving.